Hello, this is part two of the Easy Steps video. We'll continue by discussing the analog parameter scale function. An obvious question might be, why would we use analog parameter scale? Well, imagine an application where you wanted to allow the machine operator to control motor force by adjusting an analog potentiometer. Here's how you would do it. In this particular drive, you would connect your analog signal from the potentiometer to pin 4 of the X4 connector. So that's analog input on X4.4. Please note that different drives use different connectors. Then we would connect that input to a parameter. In this example, we want to connect the input to the maximal current parameter. Here's how we do it. We click on analog input on X4.4 and we want to connect up the UPID or the universal parameter ID for maximal current to this input. So we click on UPID and click on this UPID icon which allows us to search for it. So we're going to go to parameters, motion control SW, position controller, control parameter set A, and pick the maximal current parameter. Notice how the parameter ID shows up down here. We say OK. It now tells us that the firmware on the drive is running and we have to stop it. So yes, we will stop it. And there we have the UPID that we want to control with this input. The next thing we have to do is adjust the scaling. So basically, this is maximal current. So what current do we want it to be when the signal is 0 volts? And we'll make that 2 amps. So we go up here and put in 2, but we have to put in 2,000 to get the scale right. We click our green checkbox, and that 2,000 equals 2 amps. At 10 volts, we'd like that to be 4 amps of current. So we'll put in 4,000 to get that properly scaled and there that shows up as 4 amps. So now we have created an analog parameter scale for the maximal current parameter. I have connected a source up to X4, pin 4, so we can go to our control panel, start our firmware, And now to confirm that we actually have a signal going into X4 pin 4, we're going to go to the Variables section to MCSW Overview. I'm going to click on this icon to automatically update all these variables. And we can see down here, Analog Input, X4 pin 4. So we can watch this while we're adjusting our potentiometer. And we can see that, yes, indeed, we get 0 to 10 volts coming in on that input. And then in addition, we'd like to make sure that our maximal current is indeed changing. To confirm that, we have to go to Motion Control SW, Position Controller, Control Parameter Set A, and here is the maximal current parameter but we don't look at it here. What we have to do is click on it and drag it into the user defined folder under variables. Once we click on that, we can see the maximal current parameter. And once again, as I adjust the potentiometer, we can see that our maximal current goes from 2 amps to 4 amps, just like we wanted. Analog parameter scales can be used to adjust just about any parameter in the drive via an analog input signal. I'm Jeff Burt. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please give us a call or visit us at www.linmont.com.